they asked me to play a cover um, cover song for this little this little session. I, I barely know my own songs. I did attempt to learn a Lady Gaga song. I was born that way, but I, I, I haven't learned all the verses yet, so I, I shan't attempt that, but perhaps next time. But, um, of course, the band that did it for me, the band that did it for many, many people was, of course, the Beatles. My father first played me the Beatles. We had a music shop in Scotland when I lived there as a child. And my father first played me the Beatles and said, these boys are different, they, they'll, they'll go somewhere. And uh, so um, they blew my mind. And I said to my father, I said, can I, can, I, can I be in the Beatles, Daddy? And he said, no, you can't be in the Beatles, no. I said, OK. Can I have a pony? He says, I can have a pony. Uh, I never got to play in the Beatles, and I never got a pony. But I did play with Ringo for a couple of tours in Ringo's band in the last few years. That was very exciting. Sometimes he would come into my dressing room, and he would say, hey, what's going on in here? Because he was lonely in his dressing room. There was nothing in there except for big bowls of fruit. <laughs> a bit of broccoli. He'd say, hey, tell us a story. I'd go, me? Tell you a story. You're Ringo. You've got all the stories. He goes, yeah, but I know all my stories. Stay and she told me to sit anywhere. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. I sat on a rug, biding my time, drinking no wine. We talked until two. She worked in the morning and started to laugh. I told her I didn't, and crawled up to sleep in the bath. And when I awoke, I was alone, despair. So I lit a fire. Isn't it good, Norwegian 